Kelowna resident Arham Jartoy says she is in constant fear for her family who are surrounded by floods in Pakistan. Jartoy says her relatives, including her aunt, uncle and cousins on her mother's side, are trapped in the Dadu district of Pakistan in the village of Bateau. The Dadu district has been hit the hardest. Jatoy says she grew up in the village. Right now, the home is okay. That's because the villagers have banded together and uh, because the surrounding villages are all gone. So everybody's basically in Mehar, which is the big city there. And they're just building, um, they, the villagers themselves are, are, you know, building the barriers and the sandbags and everything. So right now, everything is fine. But the water, if the water level keeps going up, which it is, then I, you can, I mean, nobody can actually do anything since... Locally, there's only so much one can do. Right now, it seems like the water just keeps increasing. So it's terrifying, actually. Flooding brought by record monsoon rainfall and glacier melt in the north has impacted over 33 million people and killed at least 1,325, including 466 children, according to the National Disaster Agency. Flood water is reportedly 8 to 9 feet tall in the Dadu district. My cousin's there. Um, he came back to the city, to Karachi, to meet his parents, to meet his mom and his kids. But then he went back because, you know, his lands are there, his house is there, his people are there. And we talk to them every day, but we're just waiting now to see what happens. Because the water level keeps increasing and they don't really have much help from the government or anyone else around them. The BC Muslim Association has raised over 150000 to aid in disaster relief. For Castanet News, I'm Addison Earhart in Kelowna.